Hey everybody, I'm Aaron Simmons. This is Philosophy for Where We Find Ourselves, January 24th, 2021. I'm out here with my son, Atticus. Hey. We've been having a great day, uh, went fishing up in the mountains, hiked some new trails. But during our otherwise wonderful day, a couple things really started bothering both of us. And that was just the amount of trash, the amount of litter, the amount of junk that people had left on the trails, by the river. It was really pretty staggering. In fact, I'm going to roll some photos that I took of some of that stuff that we ran into. This is not at all reflective of everything we saw. We found TVs that were smashed on the side of the trail. We found barrels of things. We found an old couch that somebody had thrown off of the road and it had rolled down by the river. And this started both of us thinking about how sad it is. I also found a skim board. Yeah, somebody apparently was trying to surf in the Whitewater River, which didn't make much sense. But this started both of us thinking about how sad it is, how tragic it is, that those spaces, those things that we share in common, have been ruined by so many individuals privileging their own good over the good of the community. This is what Garrett Hardin calls the tragedy of the commons. It is the idea that because we remain egoistic in our relationships to each other and the shared spaces, the shared goods that we need as a community, we end up minimizing those goods in the first place. We make them less good. We make them less powerful, less effective. Think about this in terms of wearing masks. This is something that no one wants to do. But it's something we do out of respect for the common good of humanity. So let me ask you today, when you take your son or daughter or someone you love out into the mountains, out into the places that we want to celebrate and pass down to them, and you see them being absolutely tragically destroyed by all of those people who privilege themselves over common humanity, when they do this, what they're saying is that they have no concern, no obligation, and no responsibility to you or your kids or to humanity as such. They're wrong about this. This is why my son and I practice leave no trace when we go out into the woods. This is why we practice catch and release fishing. The idea has to be, let's be responsible so that the public good can become the framework in which our private goods then can be pursued. If we can do this, we're likely to have a higher degree of happiness individually because we didn't make it all about us. For those of you refusing to wear masks, refusing to get vaccines out of this sense of entitlement or sense of individual rights, you forget that rights are something that are nested in community conceptions of shared responsibility. Let's not make the commons so tragic. Let's work together and find ways to be able to teach our kids how to move forward together. I hope this is helpful. It's been a wonderful day otherwise, but definitely something that was a learning and teaching opportunity for my son and maybe for all of us. Yes, it was. I'll see you next time. Unless a piano falls on our heads.